Hello guys, welcome back. It is Waddle 876 here. Today we're here with Robrochom. Um and we're going to be reviewing his build. And this build is I chose this one to review because it is honestly amazing. It looks genuinely really good and it reminds me of like an upscaled version of um like the original build boat thing. Also, I do not have the right character model, so I have to use a jetpack. Um so, we're going to take a little tour around this place and see what it has to offer. Now, this build is honestly kind of amazing in its style and its build. Um, its quality is honestly crazy and how like detailed it is. And it reminds me of a true older build, like one you'd find in 2016. I think it was when this game came out. Or when the early stages of the game, because it doesn't really have that much of a like uh, doesn't have that much scale tools or like crazy angles or arcs um, the switch to activates all the cannons on one side cool okay um, we have a golden chest right here kind of symbolizes the one that you get um, in the well, you used to get a lot of um, if you know what I'm referencing I'm referencing this chest um, this chest was the original one so yeah, we have a ton of cannons around here and a ton of uh, torches to keep it bright and light. We also have a little um, undercarriage part, which is usually the hull of the ship, and it is. You can see the amount of detail with the um, boards even coming down and around. Um, so that's, this is pretty realistic to what it would be. And now we have a little back area, um, and I think this one is to get to the ground. Um, we also have a little jail cell, um, so if jail ever happens, there's a jail cell. Um, this is to the undercarriage of the ship, which is just to escape, I guess. Um, we have another prison cell over here. Uh, so it is it is a really nice and detailed build without it being too detailed. So it's not overwhelming, it's not underwhelming, it's just right in the sense that it looks really good. We're going to take a look around the outside part of this place, um, where there is also a ton of detail. As you can see, um, there is plenty of detail up here, and on the, the mast of the ship, I think that's called the mast. Um, and looking at from this like crazy like view, it makes this ship feel even more massive than it already is. Um, which is something that is very hard to achieve on a regular build, but this isn't like insanely high up it's not like this is crazy distances it's just like a little bit higher than like i don't know the like the back of the stage over there like it's not like it's insane it's a regular size but it feels so much taller um and i find that to be really interesting this side also has tons of cannons as well taking that this is a ship it has to have a lot of cannons we also have the front thingy i don't know what this is called but this is also very detailed and it doesn't have the like extremely like smooth edges. It has a nice like blocky aesthetic, which I think Build a Boat for Treasure was meant for. Um, and I'm really glad this creator made it look really nice and pulled it off well. Also, there's a chair in here. I did not know that. This is like um, I don't know, Titanic. <laughs> we also have a little life preserver thingy, uh, not life preserver, a little buoy. Oh, and look, there's even a mega cannon that shoots out. So that's awesome, honestly. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, like, uh, I think we're gonna get set to sail this ship. Um, can we set sail? See? Uh, alliteration. And here we go. We are about to set sail. Um, now that everything is put in place, I have set it up. So as that, um, it is all hooked up with cameras, and I know it kind of looks weird, but, um, this is, whoa, that's crazy looking. Um, so yeah, I set it all up so as that you could have all of views you want with one, two, three, okay. I forgot, it's kind of buggy, so you gotta do it from here. One, two, three. So yeah, you can actually check from different places. 
Um, so, it's kind of weird. Okay. Three, two, one. And now we go off and on our way. We have different camera angles from different places, um, which I think makes it look really nice. Also, I think I set one of these cameras up in the wrong. Yep, it's going. I forgot to put it to the ground. Um, also, I don't know why, but it's kind of lagging a bit. So I'm going to set down my graphics quality a bit. Um, hmm, that's odd. It usually doesn't lag like this. Oh, well. Um, but that isn't really much of a problem, taking that it is all good. Because I think it looks really nice. We can now see our ship, the ship, over there. Looking, we're looking back at it. This one's about to be destroyed by probably one of these little things. And I don't think it's looking too hot for this. It is, its death is imminent. Oh no. Oh. We cut back to us. Now, another camera. It's on the top of the ship. We have camera two, which is on the front side of the ship, which doesn't really look that good. Unless you, like, go inside the block. Um, but you can also look pretty nice. I don't know why it's, like, the top right hand. But who cares? Um, we have a camera five, which is at the bottom of the ship, where we can see all the things underneath going on. Also, I do not know why it's breaking in front of us, but I think, I think he has invisible blocks out there, which help it keep safe. Um, now we have, s yeah, this is just us. Fourth. Wait, where is this one? Oh, the front of the sh All right, we're in the next stage on one part. And then we're not in the stage on... Did I have a camera back here? Could have sworn I did, but I guess not. Alrighty, there we go. It actually looks really nice now. I think it was because he was standing. It was putting a lot of pressure on the game to actually work correctly. And <laughs> it, made it, it made it slow down quite a bit. Um... So far, this ship has done really well and hasn't really slowed down whatsoever, which is very hard sometimes. Um, because you guys know, as well as I do, that ships in Baltimore for Treasure can get kind of like, you know, pulled down um, by like a lot of the stuff. But I think with the safety measures this person included, it makes it work really well. So, yeah, that's awesome. And I leave you with this one for the time, this uh, camera angle, for the time lapse, because I think the time lapse will serve us very well on this adventure. Okay, tragedy is stricken. And the front thing of our ship has actually lost connection with the ship. That means it is flying off the side of the road in this stage. And this one's the carnival stage, which means that a ton of the things are going to be piercing the ship. As you can already see, that a lot of blocks have been hit off. Taking that the ship is only made out of wood, it is very susceptible to high damage. Um, now, it, one, this ship um, thing right here is highly susceptible to falling due to it having only one prong left keeping it from breaking unless it is a scaled thing otherwise it will be fine
Unfortunately for us, it doesn't really look like it's actually going back up. Um, it seems like it's been stuck in this current state for the past couple minutes. Um, we'll give it a couple more attempts to see if it'll actually go back up. Um, and it's lagging very badly for some reason. Um, we do not know why. It just seems to be lagging tremendously. Honestly, this is pretty shitty how this turned out. It, this was a really amazing build, and it's a shame you couldn't see it get to the end. I just wanted to put that in there. Alrighty, I think that's where I'm going to have to end it due to this not actually letting us go and pass further. So, thank you guys for watching, um, and thank you to the build creator, Mr. or Mrs. Robo Trauma for letting me review this build. Um, this is a really nice build to review, and it's a shame that it couldn't actually be completed because of uh, loading glitches with the stages. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video today. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends, family, and other people you may know. Um, I am Wado 1876, and I'll be seeing you guys later. And if I can escape the ship, it'll be very lucky of me. Also, we are turning over again. And I'm escaped. And that's a wonderful way to end it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!